Saturday's game, Coach said he thought he'd learn a lot about you guys in the next 48 hours. What do you think you guys have, have shown to him in these last couple of days? Um, you know, we're just trying to come back. You know, we're trying to, you know, whatever bad habits we've, you know, um, you know, formed these last three weeks, we're trying to get out of them and get back to our goals. So, um, you know, trying to get back in the win column, trying to do all the little things right, you know, during the week so it can lead to a good game uh, for us as a, as a whole. So. How much have the, the, the hits affected you over the course of the over the, over the, uh, the way you go through reads, the way you, you kind of look at those? Um, you know, sometimes they speed you up, um, you know, if you have a guy that you know is coming free or, um, you know, stuff like that. But other than that, it's just the same process. Um, we prepare um, for pretty much every situation during the week, so I feel ready for kind of whatever's coming. Have you been able to put a figure on, I mean, the offense, the yards have gone down each of the last three weeks. The score has obviously gone down each of the last three weeks. Be able to put your finger on on what what's going on. Um, you know, we're just not operating. Um, you know, I'm not. I haven't been at my best. I haven't been um, haven't been doing my job to the you know the highest of execution. So that's uh, something that I got to look in the mirror and fix. And uh, I think all the other ten guys do too. I, mean, I think we're all aware of that. So uh, it's going to be a challenge, but we're we're up for it and uh, excited for another opportunity this Friday. How much of that is? Just that you're playing much, much better teams now than you maybe did earlier, and and how much of it is stuff you're seeing on tape that you specifically can fix and do better? Um, yeah, uh, they're you know they are good. They're, you know they're good teams, but um, you know I'm not going to use that as an excuse. You know there's stuff that you know we just uh, haven't done well. Um, you know whether it's I'm not you know I miss a read or um, we don't win a one on one, whatever the case is. Um, you know, we just got we just have to be better, and it starts during the week. And I think we understand that we're trying to fix it. And uh, you know, this is a, you know, we, we're looking at this opportunity on Friday to kind of go out and you know, because everybody's talking bad about us, but it doesn't really matter. We're kind of trying to just show what we can do to each other. So sacks are a product of a lot of different factors. What do you have you identified that you can handle that you can do differently or better? Yeah, last game, I you know, I really put. Uh, the old line in a really bad spot. Um, you know, it was getting off, you know, reads a couple of times too quick. Um, you know, should have gave the ball a couple of times, you know, whatever the case was. Um, Do you need to move differently you know, in the pocket? Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of factors, you know, so there's a whole bunch of things I can work on and uh, have been just with watching film and at practice and stuff like that. So I'm um, just trying to help those guys out as much as I can, you know, because they've been fighting for me every game. So um, just have to be better. After the game Saturday, Coach said that there might be personnel changes this week, and I didn't know what, what to make of that. What, what have you made of, of his comments after Saturday's game? Uh, I, I think he kind of just wants to make sure everybody knows that you know, every job's up for grabs every game. You, know, you have to go out and produce, and um, you know, no, no one's, um, you know, every, you know, no one's you know, this amazing, solidified player, you know, whether you are or not. So, um, you got to go out and earn it every single week, and, uh, and I think he just wants to make sure that's clear with everyone. Just, you know. Does it lit a fire under you in any way? Um, no, I mean it's it's something that I I'm more and you know the, the fire gets lit when I watch just all the opportunities that I miss or stuff that I could have done better to put us in a position to win the game. Um, I don't really worry about stuff I can't control. Um, so I just try to focus on what I can do better and how to help our team move forward. How do you, how do you think you've practiced this week so far? And I think I've practiced well. I've been executing. I just gotta um, you know keep studying, you know what Washington State's gonna do to us and what they do to you know versus certain looks and um, what are our counters to those looks. So were there, were there one or two things that your coaches have identified and said, Ross, these are things we want you to address and and try to fix and do better? Anything yeah, like just uh, you know just little things. Um, and it's. Whether it's you know throwing the ball away to not take a sack, or um, you know just being a better decision maker with RPO game, or um, you know there's a lot of little stuff that I need to clean up that will make us a much smoother offense. And uh, you know I'm really working hard this week to figure that out. Like I was saying about the personnel changes, I maybe made a lot of that that, that maybe there were going to be some position changes going on. But is that changed from week to week, or do you feel like you guys are competing for for playing time at every position every week? You know, I don't I don't think guys have gotten comfortable. I don't think it's been something where you know because we all know it's a you know anything can it's a crazy game and anything can happen. Um, and you want to go out and try to earn it every single day. Um, so I don't think guys have taken for granted you know if they've gotten a lot of playing time here or there um you know so i think this week there's just more of an emphasis of you know don't leave a stone unturned you know make sure we know 
exactly what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. So, Has this hurt your guys' confidence at all as an offense the last few no. weeks? Mm -mm. It's just something that's just unfortunate, but it's just we take it as a learning process, as a learning experience. So we um, got to figure out what, what's been the reason that stuff hasn't worked and what has worked and then figure out how to fix what hasn't worked. So it's, uh, it's going to be, a, it's gonna be a, a good opportunity for us on Friday to see if we fix those. There were a couple of uh, three-man pressures that, that they went up getting sacks on. What did you see out of Washington State? Do they bring three? Are they going to bring four? Are they going to switch from odd to an even? What, what, have, what have you seen about how they get Yeah, pressure? they have a lot of movement on their D-line. You know, they can go from, you know, four down to a bear. They can go, you know, a whole bunch of different types of stuff. Um, you know, they bring a lot of exotic stuff that we haven't really seen with twisting and a whole bunch of stuff, but nothing that we can't handle. Um, I, you know, our guys up front are working really hard to figure out just how to counter what they do, and I think that uh, we'll have a really solid um, plan of execution come Friday. They generated a lot of turnovers in the back end, too. What have you seen out of their coverages? You know, they got really experienced guys. You know, they played a lot of football, so it's going to be hard to fool them, and they're um, just really solid athletes, so it's going to be just kind of one of those games where we have to earn everything we get and, uh, you know, just take what's there. Up front, are they more speed-oriented where Washington is maybe more power? Yeah, you know, they don't have as much, you know, as much size maybe as Washington does, you know, but their interior guys are really fast. You know, their exterior guys can really get out on the edge and play. So it's uh, it's going to be a good test for us. A different kind of challenge, though? Yeah. Yeah. What does the Friday game do for you guys as far as preparation goes? Is uh, that speeded up quite a bit? Yeah, it's just a condensed, you know, you don't get that extra day, so everything's a little condensed. Um, you know, but it hasn't, nothing that ha nothing that's we really can't handle, you know, it's we don't feel like we're scrambling or something like that. So, um, you know, just have to put in a little more, you know, attention to detail and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, just be ready to go Friday night instead of Saturday night. Cool. Thank you.